Hi everyone. Haven't um, well the last three days since we've been home. It's now Monday morning, so it's kind of even though it's still school holidays. I feel like it's kind of back to a little bit of routine. Kevin's not going to be here, obviously. He will be at work. Um, I'm trying to get myself into routine this week because the girls start back at school next Wednesday. So we've got a week and a half left of school holidays. Um, still a lot to try and fit in the things I want to get done around the house, but um, unfortunately not been really well. Um, I still don't think I'm very well, not sure yet. <laughs> I feel my um, breathing quite, my breathing's very laboured. I thought, oh, I've got a little shop on Saturday, went for a walk on Saturday and I could, I could barely make it home. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I think I have to go to the doctors, I think. Um, I, I just walked to the front entry back and I puffed. So, <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah, I think I need to go to the doctors. Um, so I'm just making Kevin's lunch, it's part of getting back into routine of course. Um, I don't know that I'm going to have a lot to vlog in the next few days, but um, I might even combine them into a vlog for you guys and see how much I have. Um, today I've just got the girl who's taking over the uniform shop coming around just to go through all the paperwork with her so she knows exactly what she's doing. Um, and yeah, I think perhaps go and try and go to the doctors. <laughs> That's what's on the car for today and start my new cleaning routine which I'm going to try for a few weeks before I share it with you to make sure it actually works. There's no point sharing something that doesn't actually work. <laughs> so, but basically today I'm going to just try and dust and vacuum downstairs and up the stairs. I don't know how I'm going to go because I get really puffed very easy at the minute. Um, and just clean the bathroom downstairs. Yeah, that's what I've got to do today so it shouldn't take too long. Oh, this is so weird. Go with yeah, as you can see, it's um, gloomy and we well, might not be to sleep, but it's gloomy and rainy out there today. I have a very hard time seeing what I'm filming because the back of my screen is all messed up. <laughs> but the camera still works, it's just I can't really see properly. So I've just been tidying up the kitchen, doing my job, living for the dishwasher. I've um washing on. I'm trying to keep on top of stuff. I think I'm going to go have a shower now. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I think I have my shower now and then a dust and vacuum downstairs, which is today's job. Two hours to Nicole comes over. I'm watching um, Organized. Is it Organized like Jen? But I'm watching her vlog channel. I'm not sure what her vlogging one is now. Anyway, if you're watching Jen, you'll know who I'm talking about and the, her weekly vlog and she gave me the brilliant idea of using a command hook to hang up headphones and I've got the perfect spot to do that. <laughs> um, I've got a bit of jumbled mess going on here on the headphones that you just drop down on the ground. So I'm going to use her idea and put a hook on the back here whether you can see it or not and then I can help them there. But before I stick the hook up, I've let my lesson from the oven. I'm going to try it first to make sure <laughs> this is the right hook for the job. Well, I think this will work perfectly. Ah, look at that. That should work well. I'll leave the um Well the headphones don't wait much, I think I'll just leave them on for now. That should be really good. I'll keep them up off the floor, it means they're not gonna get damaged or was laying down and I think I'm going to try and find another basket like that to put there for my things. I've got a basket in here but it's not easy to get in and out of as you can sort of see. I'm sitting in my chair, you've got to sort of get your arm in and around. So but I've got like my diaries and stuff and my iPad to leave in that way. But as you can see I have my laptop and um, whatever they call those things. <laughs> you can get in your lap there. So if I've got another basket I could put that there. So I think that's what I will do. Um, yeah, because I should be able to do it when I'm sitting here. Sitting here, yeah, I can lean back. Yeah, well, there I will. I can lean back and get things out of the basket. So I could obviously put them in here, but if I've got my legs up and I'm more comfy, yes, it's so, yeah, so much effort I know <laughs> to get things from out of there. Uh, maybe that would work better actually. Because it might remind me to use them more if I, if I see them there. Yeah, but it's hot or it's just me because I think it's humid, even though it's raining. Anyway, <laughs> I 
one little job done, so I'm gonna um, yeah, I'll go in my shower I think and get ready. Um, I feel stupid going to the doctor. I don't feel that sick. I mean, I actually do feel pretty crappy, but <laughs> it's um, no more crappy than I feel a lot of days. But I shouldn't be puffed. It's ridiculous. It's so annoying. Cause I come home after my holiday, I felt really fit and quite strong when we're walking. And I've done not much since I got home. It's frustrating, but lots to get done. It's always the way, though, isn't it? You get all geared up, ready to go, and um, things don't happen. But I'm getting a little bit stunned, so that's, I'm feeling a bit more on top of things. I'm not feeling totally overwhelmed by the state of the house, so that's, that's good. <laughs> we're getting there. We managed to keep the kitchen tidy the last few days, so that's good. I'll leave by example with the kids up. I knew it was human. I just looked one of my. I have many. I have three weather apps. One says it's 99% humidity. I'm very out of breath. I'm not sure how many doctors could doctor plan for this afternoon. This is day three. That's not really. Uh, I shouldn't be puffed. I'm just walking around the house. Christy's having her first, well, wheat-free breakfast. It's actually gluten-free bread, but Christy's doing a wheat-free diet for the next six weeks. Yay! <laughs> I'm very excited. That's directed by the pediatrician to try and work out what's causing all her problems. And I'm having a green smoothie. It's very green today. It's, um, this mixer hard. does a lot better job. And I'm going to use my jar that I got for the first time. Uniform shop stuff ready for to go through with Nicole and hand it all over. No longer the uniform shop coordinator. Quite excited to be finished with it actually. Mum thinks I'll miss it and maybe I will, but I think I've, I've done it for how many years? Do we say seven years? It's a long time. I'm ready to be done with it. <laughs> I always I never mind it when I do it, but then sometimes I don't think oh, I don't want to do it. Especially the beginning of the year, it's always hectic and chaotic. Yeah, this one's waiting for Nicole to come now and spoil the kettle for my cup of tea. Yeah, I don't have to feel too bad today, but I have got my doctor's appointment for this afternoon. Because the breathing is still more laboured than it should be. You can see I'm taking <laughs> deep breaths. So that's good. So at least I can go and get that checked out. I'm sure it's nothing, but you know. I've got a couple of days, maybe it's just a simple solution. I did try Kevin's um, mentalin for his asthma, it didn't do any good. I was really, really laboured breathing, sitting on the couch yesterday, which is a bit scary. Like, that's just really deep breaths. that look, I've been rubbing run. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, <laughs> I'll have to go on to that. Yeah, so it's waiting now. I don't know what I feel like for lunch today, so I dug out some corn chowd out of the freezer. So I'm going to have that. And I'm starting to work my way through um, Australia's Next Top Model. I've had this recorded since July. <laughs> So I'm trying to get through it all before the Winter Olympics start and I need that recording space for the Winter Olympics. I was actually just doing a bit of reading online before and I got rebate really sinus pain today so I put in a sinus pain and laboured breathing and they can be related so it could be to do with that. Though <laughs> Amy wasn't well when we were away, she reckoned she was struggling, she had a lot of breathing problems which she hadn't told me about at the time. <laughs> so the girls and I are going to go through these and go through those and have a quick Look at these books. That one went too long. We did all this, I don't know, I can't remember when we last did it, so we did um, a big clean out and declutter the books sometime last year. Okay, well, well, we've, know. we've got through that, get a bit of a clean out. I'll have to clean all the shelves another day. A bit of stuff to donate, a bit of stuff to throw out, and a Rosie in the road. Mm -hmm. She was lying over there before, we did tear her out a bit. Just tired of playing with the kids this morning. Okay, we're kind of done. I've still got to um, just clean up, clean the shelves at the top. But at least the kids have gone through, sorted out that stuff. So that's that's good. We've got three baskets down the bottom now. One for blankets, one for like card games. So those sort of little games, and then ones for chargers and to stay in this room. So I said guinea pig stuff there. I don't know when we lost our last guinea pig, but I'm sure it was over a year ago. And I had guinea pig stuff. <laughs> so it's now gone. 
So I've just got to tidy up. And it doesn't need to be there. Oh, there's a tin. I just might try and make it look a little bit presentable now. I kind of thought that might be good to put a game in, like put the logo on or something. So I'll have to clean these, but another day. But uh, that was quite nice, though, isn't it? A lot neater. <laughs> And I'm going to move Christy's iPad that she left under the cat cushion. But I know where it is. I think she probably moved it when the kids come over. Can I say someone else might sit on it? Be your puppy or anyone can sit on it. So it's time for me to head to the doctors. I kind of feel like it's silly, but I'm also struggling to breathe. So I'm sure she's probably going to go, it's fine, to do with your sinuses or something or other, or something simple. But anyway, don't want to ever fight later on that I should have done something earlier. So I'm going to do that. Get back home. Well, I'm back from the doctors. They took over two hours. She was running quite late, and I was 45 minutes or nearly close to an hour waiting time. Um, but her foot thoughts were a blood clot um, or some small clots on the lungs. So she sent me off for a CT scan, which I had, and that showed the lungs all clear. So that's good. Um, I went back to speak to her again. She's not really sure um, what it might be. She said it could just be a virus. Leave it a couple of days, and if it gets worse or if it's um, still there in a couple of days to go back and see her so that's what we'll do um, yes yeah, so I'm just back home start to make dinner um, I think I'm just going to see what I can find in the freezer I was going to make a risotto but Amy's not real keen on risotto and Chrissy didn't want risotto and so uh, it's going to be really hard this week for a diet for Grizzly I'm going to be the butt for me but um, she's not well again, she's vomiting again. So I might have to bring her pediatrician tomorrow. Because I had a funny feeling he wanted to see her when she was sick. Cause every time we've seen her before, she said she'd been okay when we've seen her. Um, so but she hadn't vomited, she just vomited late this afternoon when I was out. So well, I would have rung earlier. I remember I had supposed to ring to get the blood test results when I was on my way there. And I thought, do I get home? I didn't realize I'd be home at 5.30. So I've been gone for over two and a half hours. <laughs> It was the afternoon. Luckily, I didn't really have much plan for this afternoon except for some ironing. Well, I'm going to start anyway on the house, so that's good. Um, yeah, just trying to do something each day, I think, because then we get through everything. All the holidays will be finished and stuff like with Diamond. I've got loads of stuff to do, but it's the same jobs like that go through those shelves that the kids have to help me with. So, the scrapbook room's the same. At least do their area of the scrapbook room. Not so much mine, but do their stuff. Help them clean everything out. Um, been probably over years since we've done that room I think so um, you know the hobbies change I've got that's my Withnor family album for last year arrived nice and quick just had a flick through it looks really good I'm happy with that um, yeah it's come up nicely it's the quickest I've ever had an annual album done um, now I just have to do 2012 and maybe even 11 I don't know um, when I stopped doing sort of my um, project life, I was going to do it last year, and I might have done half the year before. So, and then I think I'm going to try and go back gradually and do the other years, so they're in an in album for maybe combine some years. But obviously, each year I tend to take more and more photos. So, I'm going to find something for dinner to put in the oven, and then cook some rice, do some vegetables, and that'll be dinner. We need to drink in their dinner tonight because we've got vegetable soup. Oh my gosh, I just, well, I didn't lock it, I didn't mop the floor today, I just vacuumed it. You've got veggie noodle soup. Veggie noodle soup, yes. With ice in it to cool it down. <laughs> and my dinner, it's a corn fillet, one of the crispy ones. Some rice and broccolini. What? And Kevin and Amy are having one of the mushroom pastas.